Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for part 40 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. And before we get into this video, I am forewarning you, I'm gonna have a little, a little chitty chat chat with you guys before we jump into this Let's Play. So if you're not interested, go ahead, skip through this junk. Um, but you know, I'd appreciate it if you, you know, stuck around. Anyway, if some of you guys had no idea, um, I was originally gonna cut this part off at part 40 obviously um but I decided to go ahead and do this till part 45 because you guys and myself included kind of felt like that was cutting it a little short and a lot of you want me to continue this let's play until I am practically in a retirement home with pink tennis balls at the end of my walker but unfortunately all good things have to come to an end just keep in mind though I am definitely this isn't the end you of wait no this isn't the end of this family, I guess. Um, you will be seeing some of these Sims again. When? I don't know. But just keep in mind that they will not be gone forever. I mean, I can't speak for Kirsten and, uh, you know, Jake because of the comment. They're kind of, you know, the end is near, I guess. But, um... Just keep that in mind. Take it for what it's worth. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump on into this video. Or this part. As you can see, Sherry, whoa girl, um... She's actually about to have this baby like literally any second. So she's out checking the mail. She just got done like cleaning the whole entire house. Um, I almost said fancy feast day, but <laughs> snowflake day was was okay. Uh, there was just a lot of mess and nastiness all over the house. And um, most people went to sleep last night before even putting the food away. So it's spoiled. Uh, Connor right now is getting a couple extra Z's because pretty soon this baby comes, oh, he is gonna be up like every hour on the hour. And so he's trying to get his beauty sleep while he still can. For Athena, she's gonna be having her birthday here in a few minutes. She's gonna become a crazy, crazy, hor I keep saying this word wrong, hormonal, sure. She's just gonna become a crazy teen. Um, and something Kirsten's not necessarily looking forward to in her older age, but I'm excited to see what she looks like. Jake over here is about to take a bath, still looking like Hugh Hefner, and um, Kirsten just, I don't know what she's doing, thinking about toilets and standing in the kitchen in a nightie. But before everyone gets caught up in their morning routine, I am going to go ahead and just get this birthday cake crap over with. Um, you know, Athena's not picky about too much of a birthday celebration. She'd rather all that money be spent on maybe her gift, which I have no idea what we're gonna give her, by the way. So we're just gonna have her go ahead and blow out those candles. Everybody can have, you know, a cake for breakfast or breakfast, whatever you say it. And um, yeah, we'll just, we'll keep this morning very, um, very spontaneous. <laughs> Not many households have a birthday at, you know, 820 in the morning, but if you didn't notice, this family is anything but normal, so. Alrighty, birthday girl. Maybe when she gets older, I'll stop calling her Casey. Because <laughs> I really can't help it. Alright. Let's see, Kirsten, Jake, Connor, I know you're upset. But you love cake, so go ahead and grab yourself a slice. And yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through this part because there's nothing but a whole bunch of hooting and hollering. Okay, so here we are in Create a Sim, and I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys her outfits and also the way Athena looks. So this is what she looks like up close and personal. Um, I definitely think she looks a lot like her mother, uh, Kirsten, and I don't see a single speck of Jake in her DNA at all, but we all know it's there. Um, and this is her everyday outfit. She definitely loves pink. She's a girly girl. So you're going to notice with a lot of the outfits, there's pink somewhere tied in. So moving on to formal wear, this is what she's wearing. It's probably a little provocative um, for a teenager. And if Jake ever sees her in this outfit, he is going to flip. However, I do think it is quite cute. Uh, moving on to sleepwear. Just kind of kept it very casual, and very basic, and laid back. Also, the pink little starfish I absolutely love. And we matched it with some little um, slippers. For her athletic wear, I just went with something a little more sporty. And again, there's some sort of pink, even though this is kind of like a coral almost. But yeah, that's what that one looks like. And I hate to say it, but for some reason, she kind of reminds me of Taryn. I don't know what it is, and I can't put my finger on it, but she totally does. And um, this is her little swimwear. And last but not least, I'll go ahead and show you all her 
outerwear. So I this is the last outfit, and this is kind of what I put together. I totally took off the gloves, but somehow well, managed to sneak their way back on. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. So let's go ahead and jump back into the game. She is super freaking excited to now be a uh, teenager. Due to her difficult upbringing, um, she was actually just given the flirty trait, which is completely okay with me. Uh, when uh, Sherry here checked the mail earlier, we received a whole bunch of wedding gifts, which is exciting. So we're going to go ahead and um, take a peek real fast at uh, what we received. So we got a mm, red petty chop, which we already have. So we'll sell that. We got the fragrant, fragrant, what? What is this? Um, oh, that's pretty. The fra fragrant reminders, aka frequent reminders. So we'll keep that. I don't know what that creepy thing is about. Um, this actually belongs in our living room. And then we also got a pretty sweet, uh, what is this, ice skating rink or rollerblading rink, which unfortunately uh, we have no room for. And last but not least, we got a uh, coffee machine, which we already have. So while we're in um, buy mode, I'm going to go upstairs and kind of fix uh, Athena's room. I'm not really picky about like the fairy, uh, the fairies, the mermaids or anything, but everything else we're going to kind of put back in our... Um, our family inventory just because I feel like some of these things is a little a little too kitty for her but we'll just keep that like that and um, I think that's pretty much it I'm gonna give her a full-size mirror just because I feel like you know she's a teenager and you know when I was a teenage girl I spent a lot of time looking in the mirror not that I thought that I was you know hot stuff but it just kind of comes with the territory so we'll go ahead and put that one in and we'll match the um, match the mirror on the wall here so did that work yeah that looks really cute so we'll leave it like that. And then last but not least, we got to get rid of our little pony, <laughs> which is so sad because that was totally one of her favorite, um, favorite toys. So for her birthday, I was thinking we should just get her a really cool laptop because that would be something Athena would appreciate. And um, when she goes to university some, you know, someday, I think she'll make good use of it. So we're going to go in the computer section. And we're going to pick out one of the new computers that came with university. And we are going to go ahead and find a spot to put this. Um, so we can just place it into, I guess, Kirsten's inventory or something like that. And then we can give it to her uh, along with our birthday congratulations. So I'm thinking we're going to just make this. We're going to make this pink because that's Athena's favorite color. Um, not sure if it's our official favorite color but I know she likes it so okay so this is the color I picked and I think it totally fits Athena perfectly so let's just accept that and plop this bad boy in Kirsten's inventory and um, we'll go ahead and also give that to her as a gift so I'm just gonna drag and drop and I happen to notice that Athena would really like to go watch a movie so maybe she can have a, a mother daughter you know um kind of like date or something with them later or whatever <laughs> and she also wants to get a part-time job which I have no problem with her contributing um, to the family and the reason why she had such a harsh upbringing was partially because every day was a freaking snow day and like that's cool and all but I wish they would set some sort of limitation in seasons to how many snow days there can be um oh seriously you guys knock it off because it kind of puts a kink in education so let me go ahead and deal with this. Let's just have him move over here. I don't know why Connor's like staring at the cake. Seriously, if you're not gonna have some, move along. We'll put this, um... oh, we actually have to clean this up. We'll clean that up real quick. And uh, we'll, oh, what's this? Hi, your friendly Sims University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. I also bring the university welcome kit, which has the useful university information and freebies. Hey Connor, I have the hots for your pregnant wife just saying wow you're an ultimate creep <laughs> um i don't know why he just came now like i think you're a little late anyway uh connor's hungry he's gonna have some cake and he also wants to get a little smoocheroony um from sherry so we'll accept that looks like he wants to read a pregnancy book and um athena wants her part-time job oh now i see what she gets from jake athletic all right so I'm thinking when she's finished with this, I'll have her and Connor go down to the bookstore. She can cop herself a job, and he can get himself a pregnancy book, which in, he can hopefully read in time. Um, 
And Sherry needs to use the restroom. And so we'll have her unclog the toilet and then use the toilet and then take a uh, quick shower here. And what's... Oh, maybe she can't... No, she can't take a shower with Kirsten, so uh, that'd be awkward. All right, we'll have her go ahead and do it in this bathroom. Or no, I think Jake's going in there. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, whatever. There's too many sims in this damn house. We'll have her go downstairs and uh, take a bath. So what is he doing? He was going to train her. Oh my goodness. They are such siblings. I love it. So let's have Connor... Um, uh, birthday congratulations. Aw, I think Athena's actually Yo, really freaking pretty. So. I can see the similarity with her and Casey, too. Uh, so, can we, um, we'll gossip a little bit. And we'll give her a hug. And I think that'll be just about it. And we also have a phone call, so we'll have him, uh, we'll have him go ahead and answer that. So it looks like Kirsten received $70. And Jake earned um, his $1,400 uh, pension. And Andrea Michelle wants to know if Kana wants to go on a date. Girl, fall back. Uh, uh, no, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> All right, so let's have these two uh, kiddos go to the bookstore, which I think is right here. Um, we'll just have them go together. So let me go ahead and zoom on in. Go here with Athena Summers. And, um, yeah, they'll just go ahead and go hit up the bookstore. I guess she could work there since she is kind of, I think she's a, is she a bookworm? No, she's athletic, but there's no athletic job. So I guess that will just have to do. And, uh, Kirsten's cleaning the, um, cleaning the shower. And let's go ahead and check on our chicken coop because I feel like we've been kind of neglecting it. Looks like there's some uh, eggs to be harvested, but we want chickens or chicks so we'll just feed the chickens for now and then we'll ask how many roads must a chicken walk down and then when um athena is done with connor did he leave without her no they didn't even leave at all uh but when she's done with the bookstore scenario we'll have them hopefully go catch a movie or have like a a daughter mother kind of um date so let me try this one more freaking time here let's see Looks like she wants to go jogging. Oh, Connor is going to absolutely love you. He is so gonna love Athena, cause she's like the perfect freaking sister. Casey was definitely not into that stuff. Did he leave without her? Oh my gosh, you're such a douchebag. Connor. <laughs> he definitely needs to hit up the gym. Um, now we have another phone call. Let's answer. She's still coming. Go here. <laughs> Poor girl. Mary Baker wants to know if Connor wants to go on a date. Dude, you're such a ladies' man, I swear. Let's see, what can you do? Um, you can you can browse the web real quick while you're waiting for your sister. Poor girl. What is she doing? She's walking? You're crazy. You are seriously not going to walk all the way there. No, you're not. All right, so we'll just have her, um, we'll have her teleport. Like, I don't want to do that, but seriously, we'll be here until next year waiting for her to walk. I'm like, that's cool and all, but no. Okay, so now that they're on their little group outing, Connor wants to go dumpster diving. Now, what is she doing? She's following the leader. Okay. All right. So I think we got our craft situated. Let's have her go get a uh, part-time job, and then Connor's going to shop for books. I'm um, sure. Yep, she's definitely Jake's kid. <laughs> Okie dokie. So... Freezer Bunny, f Freezer Bunny stories. Um, I think this is a kids book, so we should definitely pick up a few um, for our little one. So we'll just pick up some random stories because I feel like I never have have enough. You know what I mean? Like there's they're always reading like commitment issues or some strange story that's nothing to do with kids. So we'll pick up five or four. <laughs> That'd be a good start. And um. Where are the, where are the actual baby books? Okay, so I finally found them. They are actually in the general section. And there's two different flavors. You can get totally preggers in Expecting Mother's Tale, which I'm sure Sherry would appreciate. Or you can get BB Incoming, Preparing with Vigilance. I think that has Connor written all over it. So we'll go ahead and spend 650 freaking dollars on books. Um, looks like, 
Athena can become a bookstore clerk. Uh, she'll be making $30 an hour and she'll be working from four to seven. So we will go ahead and uh, accept that career there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have Connor go ahead and uh, go to the gym because he really needs it. Um, and then I think Kirsten and Athena can go ahead and have that little um, mother-daughter date. Looks like the movie is actually playing um, right now. So we should totally have her go and do that. So I'm gonna have Kirsten meet up with Athena right now. Um, and then hopefully she can just go ahead and uh, We'll have her nap on the bench or something. Just anything to stall the time and have her wait. Um, where is the gem that you're running to it, sir? Let's see. Okay, so we found the gem. He just needs to work on his physique. Like, seriously, he's just kind of getting out of shape. So we'll have him go war end for a little bit. And we'll do Don't Break a Sweat. And let's go catch up on Kirsten. She is riding a bicycle. fan freaking tastic I love it. <laughs> She actually looks pretty good, damn good on that bike, but we're gonna make her preferred vehicle an actual car or something with four wheels. So we will make preferred, preferred, I almost said preferred vehicle. Um, so her and her and Athena don't have to, you know, ride bikes or run or something. She looks totally homeless sitting on this bench. Awesome. I love it. Uh, she wants to see Athena graduate. And she also wants to enroll Athena into the Peace and Love Academy. Um, and she also wants to teach her to drive. Holy crap, girl. You are very, very family oriented. You have a lot of like amazing wants and wishes for her. That's good. Uh, oh, I should probably have them form a group real quick. So we will wake her up, obviously. And then after that, we'll have her form a group. And I'm thinking we will give her her birthday congratulations. And also, oh, look who's that. Taryn, nice to see you. Or not. And then we will give her the Bodkin Laptop Computer by Peachy Soft. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me check on Sherry because I swear she could have this baby at any moment and we would totally miss it and I'd be very upset. So, look at that. Mother, daughter. How freaking cute. I love it. They're amazing. Dude, that's so rude. Your mom's trying to talk to you and you're like totally on your computer. What a classic teen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Aww. It says, What's, what, uh, what a lovely gift. Thank you so much. And you should probably give your mother a hug. Jeez. All right. So hopefully we didn't miss that damn movie. Knowing us, we probably did. But, you know, that was a cute little moment between mother and daughter. So nevertheless, um, it'll be fine. So we're going to attend movie with the group and it says the show is almost over and the doors are closed. Oh, um, crap. Okay. Well, I don't know then. Let's see. Maybe there'll be another movie or something or we can have them go do something else. I guess uh, let's have them interact though while I figure this out. Let's reminisce about her childhood. Uh, we'll also rem reminisce about the good old days and just, you know, chatter up a little bit and see what the heck is going on with this movie. Um, attend movie with group. That is so upsetting. Alright, whatever. Let's see what else we can do with her. Um, we can go ahead and take her out to dinner. Let's see if she's hungry. Yeah, she's a little hungry, so you know what? We'll just go ahead and, um, we'll eat here with group for $100. And Sherry, you are watching TV. And Connor is working out until fatigued. And he is really just, he's getting it. Look at him breaking a sweat. He looks awesome. He's very, he's very athletic. I like it. I love it a lot, actually. Uh, what did he say? Phone junkie. Being addicted to your phone isn't always a bad thing. Information and friends are at your fingertips 24 7. Love it. Awesome. Cool. Amazing. Let's check on Sherry. She's probably a little bored. Staying at home. Nothing else to do. Actually, you know what? Looks like they are kind of catching up with each other, so that's cool. Even though she looks kind of disgusted with them. Let's see how their relationship's going. Um, meh. Not too good, but not too shabby. <laughs> Definitely could be worse. Um, and then these two are just about to head indoors, hopefully. Let's go ahead and see what they're doing. Ah, it is so freaking dark. Like, seriously? So damn dark, but it looks gorgeous. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what else we can do with them. Um, 
There's a twin book community gardens. We can take Athena maybe over to the arcade for a little bit. Um, she's not old enough to hit up the bar, and I'm pretty sure she's not interested in the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, pet shop, so. <sighs> the only thing I can really think of would be bowling, which I don't have the lot up yet, um, or the arcade. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually set up bowling real fast, and, um, we'll have to do So that. the good news is, is we do have a bowling alley, but for some reason the little icon isn't showing up, so I was a little confused, but when they are all done, we'll queue that up for them to, uh, go ahead and, um, hit the local bowling alley just to kill some more time. I feel like, you know, Sherry and, and Jake here are kind of, you know, just, just getting to know each other. Um, maybe they aren't you know, so different after all. I don't know. This birthday cake is looking absolutely freaking pathetic sitting here, and I don't even know how long those coffee cups have been chilling like a villain, but that's nice. I, I like this. I like that they are, um, make a move. Ew. I, I like that they're, you know, chatting with each other. So she's going to request him to feel her tummy. That's cute. I like that. So let's see. Why aren't you requesting him to feel, feel your tummy? Is that creepy? Might be a little creepy. He's like, yeah, no. Connor would probably break my fingers. Um, let's thank him for cleaning. Um, and then we can also... Oh, I totally ruined it. Anyway, uh, okay. Let's see, thank for cleaning. Let's just be nice to him. I feel like they they don't, you know, they don't get along real well. They, they should be way closer than they are. Um, we'll announce the pregnancy. And we'll brighten his day, because he's kind of Sir Grump a lot. We'll discuss about TV shows, and of course we'll enthuse about some athletic. And when she's done with that, I'm thinking we should replace the kitty post. And we'll, I don't know, what does it say? This interaction cannot be performed by pregnant sims. We'll make the bed. And, um... It looks like they are on their way to the bowling alley, or they might already be here, which they are, which is super duper exciting. And how many times can I say which in one sentence? I don't know. But what is going on with this bowling alley? Doesn't that look a little weird to you? Maybe not, because she's totally standing right on the alley. Uh, let's bowl with our mom. Have a little, have a little girl time. And we can also check out this venue. I think you guys have already seen it. It's not fully loaded yet, but um, I did download this from the Sims 3 Exchange. And it has like a little birthday area and a whole bunch of um, other crap stuff going on. Looks like somebody is picketing right here. So we can't bowl. So we'll just um, we'll move over a lane and try that one out. Okay. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and get them started. And she's actually earning a little bit of rebel skill but this is her first time i think or maybe her second time bowling so i'm very interested to see how um <clears throat> awful i mean amazing she does oh i totally underestimated you good job look at her little dance she's like oh yeah it's my birthday mm -hmm. <laughs> and no i didn't have coffee this time i had soda so i'm a, I'm a little hyper but i'm just excited to Excited to make this video, I guess. <laughs> High on life. <laughs> let's try it. Let's see, Kirsten. <laughs> Granny, you didn't do too bad. I can't even believe you can jump that high in your little in your little ensemble. Oh, this is good. I like this. I really do. Let's just see how much longer they have to live. Um, I know that's like a terrible thing to say, but they actually aren't um, close to death yet. Jake, however, is, and if she dies, or if Jake dies, Kirsten's gonna... <sighs> I don't even want to know. I don't know, I don't know how she'll handle it. No. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go check up on, um, on Sherry. And Connor is socializing with the, uh, with the locals there, and he also wants to master the athletic skill, but I think we'll have him come on home and be with his wife, because I swear, I'm not trying to be mean, but this girl is looking like a lime. She's about to pop at any time. And yeah, that rhymes. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Let's see. Can we, um, let's, let's pause this. I was thinking maybe we can actually... Um, let's see, what do they say about me? 
And I was thinking we could actually take a picture of her too. But we need to ask her to pose. I don't think we know her well enough yet. So she let's see what they say about me because we have a lot, a lot of enemies for some strange reason. Mm. Um, Jake Summers has been faithful, faithfully committed to his relationship so long that Sims all around town are saying, are calling her. It's a boy, but anyway, internally faithful. So that's cool. Respond to a question. What is what is Kana doing? You're crazy. You're not gonna go skinny dip. Not so. Uh, he, he wants to give Sherry a kiss. So let's let's give her a heat of the moment. Smooch, Rooney. Oh, Connor. You're gonna be having icicles in places you never knew existed. <laughs> Who does that? The kitty's coming to cop a peek. Hey, I don't I don't blame it though. Like. I don't know. He's all sorts of smexy. <laughs> He's like, that was cold. Woo! Snowballs. All right. Anyway, <laughs> too much? Maybe just a little. After that, we'll have him go ahead and go to sleep early because I have a feeling this baby's coming anytime now. Anytime. Oh. They are so in love. It makes me want to cry. I love it. They are great. I really don't think I could have picked a perfect person for Connor. I really don't. But let's sleep. Let's have her go to bed, too. Jake is probably all pooped out. He's actually already beating me to the punch. Um, he needs to eat. So we'll have Grandpa, Grandpa Smooth Skin over here grab a quick meal of green salad. And then he will also go to sleep. And I don't know what these ladies are doing. Looks like Athena's brushing her teeth. Huh, interesting. I totally a call oh I didn't totally call it. She actually wants to be a star's new anchor a star news anchor. Alright, well I guess we could fulfill that. Are you sure you want star are you sure you want star news anchor to be your Sims lifetime wish? Sure, why not? Um but yeah. We're gonna have them actually head on home. It's late. Athena has to go to school tomorrow, but I think she had an amazing birthday and they had an amazing good old time together, which is great. I love to actually be able to have a second for my sims to take a breather from the real world and um spend some quality time together so it was athena it was athena's day today hopefully kirsten here is speeding it up and she is stuck of course i don't know why she's stuck why she's stuck oh no girl you got problems all right let's just teleport here and then we'll just manu manually have her go home awesome Okay. Alrighty. I think we should be just about good. Um, excuse me. Did you just ride a motorcycle? I guess that whole little, like, learning how to drive doesn't pertain to motorcycles. Anyway. Um, Athena's home. She's gonna go ahead and hit the sack jack. And, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up part... 40 here. I'm sure it was a long one. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys all again for watching and don't forget to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. <gasps> and in the next part, Sherry will be having her baby.